Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're going to look into a unique solar power station that has some features that I haven't seen anywhere else, and I want to just go over them. I won't go in too deep because despite my best efforts, I haven't been able to obtain one to actually get my hands on it. So a lot of what I'm going to talk about is theoretical, but I think there's a lot here that is certainly interesting and I would love to be able to get into it deeper. Well, I'll start by stating the obvious. Uh, the power station by Nature's Generator offers two unique features that I have not seen in any other power station on the market today. The first is, it is the only unit that offers 240 volt split phase, 30 amp output out of a single unit. No one else does that. Not EchoFlow, not Blue Eddy, not uh, Zender. Nobody offers a 30 amp, 240 volt split phase output out of a single unit. Uh, with EchoFlow, you can get that if you buy two Delta Pros in a double voltage hub. Same thing with Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy. Um, with Zender, they offer a 240 volt split phase output, but only 16 amps. So that's not particularly useful. Um, as an output from a single unit. The power station or power, yeah, power station by Nature's Generator offers that in a single unit. So that's something that's very unique that nobody else offers. And um, I think that's very intriguing. The second thing that the power station offers that no, again, nobody else in the market has, and this one is exceptionally unique, that is they offer a wind turbine input into the power station. So you they sell um, wind turbines, small, obviously small uh, residential sized turbines, but it, uh, you can take in solar, in, or, uh, solar input, of course, yes, but also wind input in addition to, uh, not in, 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 in lieu of, but in addition to your solar input, you can also have wind input. I think that is exceptionally unique. It's really cool, again, without being able to actually use it um, to get my hands on a sample. I can't tell you uh, what it's like in real life, but the concept is amazing. And um, certainly would love to get, uh, again, my hands on one and, and put it to the test. Okay, if you go to the Nature's Generator site, naturesgenerator.com, you can go to the Powerhouse page and it'll give you uh, an interesting rundown of what they're offering. Right away, you can see this is an absolutely massive device. I mean, just look at these dimensions. You can tell it is beefy. Look at those casters. Um, it's quite heavy. You can just tell looking at it. Um, but particularly uh, compared to maybe some of the other products that are out there. But um, it's, it's a big, big unit. But what leaped out to me is that this single unit can produce output of 240 volts AC up to 7,200 watts, 30 amps. That is incredible. That is amazing in a single single unit. And, uh, you know, the others that are out there, EchoFlow, Blue Eddy, Zinder, you name it, none of them can do that. So that's, that's impressive. Number two is this piece, a 1,000 watt wind charging capability. We'll get into that, but that's very interesting. Again, nobody else on the market at all accepts any kind of wind charging capability. So this is very, very unique. All right, um, let's go just a little bit further here and start talking about um, you know the, the additional DC output. Um, we've already talked about AC, but you've got your standard USB Type A 12 volt output. You got a Type C 48 volt output, and then you got one 12 volt DC port. Nothing, yeah, amazing. It's fine. Uh, it's it's comparable with the with the market. The capacity of a single unit, 4,800 watt hours. Now, uh, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room in a second, but well, actually, might as well talk about it now. What's the drawback with this unit? Like, especially for this price, doesn't that sound great? It sounds pretty good considering what it's offering you. The drawback is going to be the battery chemistry right here, right? So these are not life um, lithium iron phosphate batteries, these are going to be, in this unit anyway, um, are going to be like a, a, a deep cycle sealed um, 
uh, lead acid battery, uh, you know, so they're not going to have the life span of a, a lithium iron phosphate. They're not going to have the discharge co discharge capacity of, of one of those batteries. So, you know, when you talk 4,800 watt hours, I suspect you're actually going to be getting um, a significant amount less than that as far as output, uh, you know, running uh, a load. Obviously, I'd love to have one to, to review for you and tell you exactly what you can get out of it, but I haven't been able to, to make that happen yet. Now, what gets really interesting is you can add, as you can see here, additional power pods to this, which is really cool. Um, and also, the power pod, just this as a side note, if you're into wind turbines, there was a company trying to build a new wind turbine design that they wanted to call a power pod, and they got into a legal dispute and I'm pretty sure is with this here because this power pod was already here first. But anyway, uh, I digress. The power pod allows you to add up capacity, right? Like with one power pod, you've gone from 4,800 to 9,600. With two, you've gone to 14 and so on. And you can keep expanding. In theory, there is no limit. You can keep adding more power pods. So that's really cool. The other thing is the power, they are introducing power pods with lithium iron phosphate batteries and they say you can mix and match so you can use your main unit with a lithium iron phosphate power pad and there's no problems with that that'd be interesting to explore <clears throat> but that's very cool and and definitely could increase your capacity the other thing you're noticing here is as you are increasing adding power pods each of the pods have their own input in addition to the main unit so you're increasing your potential solar input also very cool right with this setup here which is on the high end obviously you've got up to 8,000 watts of solar input you got 2,000 on the main unit and then you've got three other units that are coming in um so i think that's very impressive they each got 2,000 input into their own um very very cool and then each also has the again the wind input super cool so each has a thousand watt wind input and 2,000 watt solar input you would you be hard pressed to find that kind of capacity in any of the competition lastly let's get into the details i mentioned this already it is a sealed lead acid battery and that is the biggest drawback of this unit because <clears throat> you're not going to get 3000 cycles like you would with a lithium iron phosphate battery you're probably going to get somewhere to 600 to 800 cycles uh and you know, your mileage may vary. Um, that would be to 80% capacity, but you're just not going to get the lifespan with this is the biggest drawback. Um, the, you know, size is pretty big, 28 by 20 uh, all around, give or take. That's what we mentioned. But look at this weight. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing it's on wheels because you are not going to be lifting this anywhere. 434 pounds. Uh, for context, I think my <laughs> my zero SR motorcycle weighs around this, um, so it is absolutely freaking massive, huge. This will be shipped via freight for sure, and uh, you better hope you got a nice flat entry to wherever you want to put this because you are not going to be moving this up and down stairs very easily. Apart from that, I think you've got the the big things the 2000 watt i i did they don't show this here on the site but i confirmed that uh that is 20 amps at 100 volts so it gives you some flexibility with your uh your panels uh to run more uh more in parallel as opposed to series obviously you do not want to exceed that 100 volt input that would be very bad so <clears throat> you definitely want to keep your voltage lower but at least 20 amps gives you a little bit more uh, leverage there so even if you're running um you know say 90 volts you can maybe run more more parallel stri uh, strings that way then you have the thousand watt uh wind and you know i think to be smart you would want to pair this with their recommended turbine all right i think that's going to wrap up this video i think the powerhouse by nature's generator is very interesting at least on on paper and I think, uh, you know, I'd love to get my hands on one so that I could put it to the test, see if it can do some of the things that it, you know, it says it can according to the tech specs. Because if so, I think it, it, it could, you know, separate itself from the competition. 
the one drawback that I saw and, and called out, of course, was that the main unit is a SLA battery. Uh, I think that's definitely um, a drawback, and certainly that's why it's so heavy, right? Um, but apart from that, all the other specs are very, very interesting, at least, um, you know, at least comparable to the competition, if not better. Uh, and I think that it's worth considering. So I, I think the interesting thing to me was that, uh, you know, for Nature's Generator, they seem to have a compelling product, but I, you know, just haven't seen the exposure around it. I think they're really lacking in, in, in getting out there in, in the community and marketing their product, which could be, you know, a really good product for a lot of people's needs, but they, they just need more exposure. Um, and of course, you know, the product has to stand up the test. So hopefully one day I'll get my hands on it. I can test it and do a video and show you how it performs. But um, so far, no luck there. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.